Good morning and welcome. I'm Pastor Lance Smith. I'm here in Monticello, Wisconsin. Uh, this is the Zwingli UCC Midweek Devotional. Uh, we usually have this on Wednesdays, and it is definitely a Wednesday today. It's a big hump day. Uh, quite a hump to overcome this morning. There was nine inches of snow on the ground last night, maybe even closer to ten with a little bit of drifting. Just got through shoveling out, uh, got the pathways all shoveled up and uh, still haven't got the driveway done yet, but uh, hopefully the guy will come with a plow and get us, get us plowed out soon. I love the new snow. It's just gorgeous to see this white layer of snow all over the place. It's interesting how things run in circles in nature, you know, I mean, like even the year, it's a cycle. Here it is another year again. It's, this year's gone. Uh, this is January 30th today and one more day of 2020. What a year. It's interesting how we humans try to make everything straight or try to put square edges on everything and everything in nature is round and in a cycle. It seems like it's never ending. It seems like it just keeps going around and going around. And New Year's come. I can remember last year at this time when I was trying to make resolutions for this year. Yeah, right. Resolutions. I had somebody say the other day that the only thing they were going to resolve is to eat chocolate every day. And they thought that might be a resolution they'd be able to do. Yeah. But we learn by making mistakes. Um, it's interesting how God can take our failures and our mistakes and our lemons and make lemonade out of them. And our God that we serve all through the Bible is, the Bible's about 80% humans making mistakes and the rest of it is God fixing them, taking those mistakes and making something very special out of it. It's interesting, there's always a chance to have a clean slate, so to speak. When I look out over all this white snow, this new snow, it feels like a clean slate. Like all the things and all the craziness of 2020, I can kind of maybe put behind me and have nothing but expectations for 2021. Hopefully we'll know more about how to work together. Hopefully we'll know the blessing of community and how wonderful it is to be in community with one another. Hopefully we'll be able to hug each other again soon. That's my hopes for 2021. And my resolution is not to take anything for granted because even in 2020, in the midst of this pandemic, I've seen God at work. Almost every hour of every day, God is busy working, trying to straighten things out for us trying to bring his kingdom to bear. I've got a text for us today. It's Isaiah 1, 18. <clears throat> Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And though they be red like the crimson, they shall be as wool. The God we serve is a God of new beginnings, a God of second chances, a God of unconditional love and unconditional grace. As we go through this day and the rest of this week and into the new year, help us remember how much love is being bestowed upon us every second and every breath. Help us love others with that Try to, try to come close to that intensity. Let's pray. Oh, Holy One, we thank you for this snowy day, for the silence to be able to hear your voice, for the stillness and the quiet. We thank you for the white snow, which reminds us of, of well, what our souls look like when, when we've been forgiven. We understand all the sacrifices that you've made for us and how our living is a sacrifice for of others. Help us to remember that, Lord, as we go through this world. Help us to understand that this world is based on giving. 
We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay warm. Stay dry. <laughs>